Yeah, g'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Luke's Fish and Mission. Today I am doing something a bit different. I am up in Airly Beach, uh, the beautiful wet Sundays. I'm actually up here for the next few weeks, three weeks for work, doing my coxswain ticket up here and doing some training. So not a bad place to come for some training for a work thing. Um, I've found just a couple little spots, just land based. I've never been here before, don't know what to expect, but just found a few land based spots with a few tracks. So I'm walking the tracks at the moment, it's a couple of kilometres to until I get to the beach. Um, and on the beach, there seems to be on the high tide, which it currently is now, um, like a bunch of coral only 30 40 metres out. So I'm hoping to um, cast little plastics into that little bit of reef, um, poppers, stick baits over the top of that reef as well and work that. And um, I've got no idea what to expect because like I said I've never been here. But I'm assuming there'll be a little trout here, little stripies, uh, tusk fish, cod, all those sorts of things. So I've got a little three inch fat grub on one rod on the light gear and that will catch me pretty much anything and everything that's here because uh, it's such a small plastic and then I've got a little 65 mil popper so yeah a bit of a walk uh, might take me half an hour to get to there but um, I think it should be pretty nice when I get there see how we go at my destination doesn't look overly appetizing with all that coral spawn here though kind of smells but um, a lot of nutrient in the water obviously I'm not sure if that's going to turn the fish on or off probably off but we'll give it a go flick out that popper the reef isn't far away like I said I'll probably go up towards these rocks here and then maybe back towards those rocks but um, there's definitely reef here so we might get something across the top of that. Oh, oh, go again. Ah, oh, missed it. The little queen here, a little banger. He wanted it. He had a go. Oh, yeah, on. He wanted it and he got it now. Little queen, I think. Not huge. Queenie. Oh, I just lost it. Yeah, there's a little queenie in the water. Oh, 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 there's Trevelli tailing this. He's tailing it. He swapped it a couple of times, he's still there. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, I think it's a queenie. Yeah, it's a better size queenie out here. Oh, there's a little turtle here. Hey, little guy. Come on, come up. Swimming in this little creek. Oh, 
There he is, coming up. There he is. Awesome. <laughs> little Jack. Check him out. Tiny little Jack on the top water. That's cool. Such a pretty little fish. Look at him. He's only probably like 25 centimeters long. But he smashed that little top lure. It's actually not a small lure, it's like 90 mil fast day sugar pen. Right. Alright mate, I'll send you back. I'll send you back. Beautiful little Jack. So pretty. Hey guys, welcome back. When I cut the uh, the video that you would have just been watching, I was actually here yesterday afternoon. It was high tide, but it was late afternoon. Didn't set the world on fire. So I've come back out here this morning. So early the next morning, it's about 6.30 a.m. Um, it's a lot nicer. There's not the big northerly wind blowing at the moment as it's predicted to do later this afternoon. And as it did yesterday afternoon, it was blowing straight in here. It's a lot calmer, it's a lot nicer. The tide was coming in yesterday. Um, it was high tide about an hour ago here, so it should be running out. So I should be able to walk out a little bit closer to the reef, a little bit further out. Before I ride off a spot as being sort of no good, I, um, I like to at least fish it a couple of times, different moons or different stages of the tide at least, before I put the cross through it and ride it off. So, you know, a low tide might really fire here, but the high tide not so much. So, I'm out here again, the going out tide, and we'll see how we go. Throw in the Bass Day Sugar Pen again, early morning top water, nice still water out there, so not the big waves we had. So, hoping for one of them queenies again. But it's pretty nice on the water. Fish from a mile away should be able to see that little offering out there right now. It's so still, so. My course doesn't start till a little bit later this morning. So, just taking advantage of my time up here in Airlie Beach before I head back to Mackay. It's a beautiful little bay though. It's really nice here. Got something. It's not very big. Probably a cod. No my luck lately. On top water though. What do we got here? Oh, it's a little tusky. Pretty. Pretty fish. Well that didn't take long. I've been here about five minutes. And got this little guy. Lovely fish. Not a huge fish taking a 90 mil lure, he's probably twice the size of it. But nice species, I was really hoping to catch a couple of these. So get this little uh, tusky back in. And a little guy, so that's pretty cool though, a little guy like this still catching it on a big lure, big 90 mil lure. So hopefully there's some bigger ones around. Oh, there you go mate, thank you. Right. Decided to change over to a little atomic semi-hard minnow. I think this is about 60 mil long. Bass A sugar pen was 95 mil. It was certainly getting a few hits, but they weren't fully committed. They weren't eating it because the lure was quite a large lure and it's got quite big trebles on it. So I was missing the fish and the fish are probably pretty small. So I've downsized something about two thirds of the length of it, but I'm not, I'm not sort of, um, I'm using this lure that's pretty still pretty heavy. So I'm not giving up the weight that I need to be able to cast out a long way. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's a further cast than what I was doing, yet the lure is only two thirds of size. So I'm still getting out there, probably further than where I need to be, or further than where I was casting. But the lure is now a lot more manageable size for these little fish. So let's see if we can convert a few of these. The trebles are, 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 are the trebles are smaller and they're a little bit sharper too. So I reckon if something hits this, it'd be more inclined to be a hookup now instead of just a hit and a miss. Because yeah, I've lost 
at least three or four other fish that have um, had a go at that larger lure but not hooked up properly. Cast that like a bullet, eh? Whoa, 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 that was a bigger shark. Oh, he's probably like 1.4 black tip reefy. Oh, pretty cool animal, scared me a little bit. He'd give me a good run for me money on this gear if I was to hook him. He's seen me, I think he was more scared of me though. Yeah, got something here. What do we got? Oh, no, it, whoa, little queenie? Looks like a little queenie, silver and jumping. Yeah, queenie. Okay. Yeah, cool. Maybe there's a reef shark up his butt. Woo! Cool. Knew there'd have to be a few queenies around. I hooked one yesterday, lost it, and um, had a swipe from a bigger one. But it missed it. He's only a little guy. Sort of like 45 centimetres, something like that. But he was putting up a bit, bit of a show anyway. Phew! Cool. Hooked in the side of the face. All right, I'm just going to walk him in. <laughs> He's only a little guy, but still happy to get one of these. Alrighty. It's a little guy, but it's still a bit of fun. Alrighty. You go, mate. Go on, watch that shark. You can come good or what? There he goes. He'll be fine. Swimming away. There we go. A little bit disorientated. But yeah, little queenie. Cool. Oh, oh, yes, it's got something. Oh, it's, it's a bit weighty. Oh, it's heavy. I don't know what this is, but it's heavy. Oh, and it's a long way out. It hasn't jumped, it hasn't run, but geez, it's going sideways. Wouldn't be surprised if I got a shark or something. I had a couple of hits at it. Oh, it's gonna run soon, I'm pretty sure. Just back that drag off. If he wants to run, he can go. He's swimming sideways, just doing nothing but just wait. And he's cruising up on the shallows. I reckon I got maybe a little reef shark. Oh, what do we got? I just wanna see it. There's another queenie, is it? Oh no, a little banger. Little GT. Oh, now we want to run. Now we're running. Realise it's hooked finally, eh? Knew these guys would be here. I was hoping for a little G and a Queenie. Got both of them now. And that's why he was going sideways. He just went sideways and he didn't start really kicking until he came up into the shallows. That's a cool fish though. Cool fish land base. Hey, he's up, Tiger. Come this way. I'm just gonna let you go, mate. You keep struggling around. Those little sharkies will find you, mate. Little G banger. Little GT. It's not a bad little G. That's cool. Happy with that little guy. Sort of made the morning well worth it. Little bluey, little queenie, now little GT.
Hey, what do we got? We've got something else here. We didn't even see the take. What have we got? What is that? What is that? A cod, is it? Of course it'd have to be a cod here. <laughs> oh, the day wouldn't be complete without a cod. Yeah. There we go. He's a real dark guy, ain't he? Black spot estuary cod. Geez, I'm getting some distance on the cast with this little thing. The 60 mil atomic semi-hard minnow cast like an absolute bullet. Can get out a long way here. Oh, that was a fish too. Can get out a long way across this shallow reef. And when I say reef, it's not really reef. It's more just, oh, something having a go. It's more rocky. The reef is out a little bit further, which I can't quite get to. A couple of hits then. But I do have to go soon. I've got to get to a course. Me coxswain course. Got to go to work, unfortunately. You could stay fishing all day up here. <laughs> but I am up here for the next little while. So, oh, there's another hit. Jeez, some bit of action. Yeah, it can cast this lure a mile, yet it's not a big lure. It's only 60 mil long, so it's going to be manageable to a lot of fish, even small fish. Problem is, you know, usually when you're on the, oh, and then, what do we got? Problem usually is on the beach, you've got to use a, lot, a large lure to be able to get the casting weight to be able to punch it out a long way. But with this, they're heavy and small. So they're a little, like a little casting plug, a little tracer bullet. And then if you pause it, I'm working this thing across the top like a meandering stick bait, but if you pause it, it sinks down and you can work it subsurface as well. So these are great. They actually sink if you let them. I'm working it quickly across the top, but I can pause it, let it sink, and it wobbles around seductively on the drop. That's them there. These things are wicked. Don't look like much, but they're soft as well, so they feel like the real deal. Fish grabs them, they usually... If they miss, they usually come back and have another go, which you've seen happen many a time this morning. Oh, yes. It's not big, but it was literally my, gonna be my last cast. And I got something small though. I don't care. I just wanted one more fish before I, before I went and I wasn't even going to have that cast. Oh, beautiful little bluey. Geez, they're nice. Look at the colours on that thing. Look at the colours on him. So pretty, a little tusky. How nice. Oh, that's a beautiful way to finish off, isn't it? That's beautiful fish. The colours are amazing. Yeah, g'day guys, it's wrapping up the session. Well, the two sessions I had here came here, as you know, late yesterday afternoon. Got that little jack on the high tide. Fishing was hard because the water was right up. Today, the water was a little bit lower than yesterday because um, it was a, a high tide of a neap, so it was a, still a fairly high, low tide. But the key was it was dropping. And um, seemed to get a few more fish this morning, all on top water, which was really cool couple little tuskies, a cod, a queenie, and a little GT, little banger. And um, 
a bunch more hits so I had a ball down here so worse luck I've got to go to work now I've got a training course up here in Early Beach that's why I'm here in Early but I'm here for the next sort of three weeks so I'm gonna fish nearly every afternoon after my course and before work if I can as well um, to try catch a few more fish and explore this beautiful part of the uh, the world the Whit Sundays land base don't have a boat up here but um, any land base little rock bit of sand or jetty I'm gonna flog it to foam because um, haven't really fished up here much so had a ball doing that I'm really keen to come back to that spot though on a super low tide like a 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 meter low when I can walk out a lot further then I'll be able to cast over the, the drop off where the reef drops off into the deeper water and that is certainly where I'm thinking I'll get a few trout there um, poppers across the top and stick baits and plastics and sink them down a bit deeper but yeah really so I fished it fairly when it's been fairly high now now I want to come back when it's really low so not finished with this spot yet like I said don't ride off a spot after one session hit it a few times different tides different moon faces and see if they turn on and if after your third or fourth go of nothing then strike it through with a big red cross but until then keep plugging away anyway guys I had a ball I better go have a shower and we're gonna go drive a boat now for a bit with me coxswain. So, catch you next time. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe.